Hello everyone, it's Lewis P here. I hope everyone's having an amazing day, night, wherever you are in the world. I hope you enjoyed that little intro video. So if you liked it, please let me know in the description below. As always guys, I have a link in the description that'll take you directly to the masterclass for $90 as well. So I got you back there. Let's do a complete overview and review of the Chris Hadfield masterclass. It teaches exploration, space exploration masterclass. Really excited about this. I've been super passionate about space since I was a child. And I think every youngling is actually really passionate about space as well, because it's really literally the final frontier of um, our existence. But let's get straight into it and let's do an overview of this. There are 29 lessons in the Masterclass, really cool. Masterclass always gives you a, a, a bit more extra, as you can see, bonus chapters. Then also it's 100% exclusive. He's never actually done something like this to this quality. Very, very professionally done, well-spoken, well-rehearsed, and also teaches you and gives you a lot of value. And also they've just added the mobile version. So once you get it on the desktop, you can actually watch it on your mobile as well. Really, really cool. Now, if you don't know who Chris Hadfield is, I highly recommend you pause the video right now, Google his name. You'll know that he actually created a really, really awesome song in space. This is Major Tom's song. I can't believe how popular that video went. He was actually in space playing the guitar, singing a song. But more importantly, he was the captain of the International Space Station. That isn't really enough to justify what that means. To give you a bit more context, that means that he was the captain of the smartest people on the planet. To analogize this, imagine if you were to run an organization and you were leading a team. He is now the commander, the, the CEO, the owner of this organization and has hired the best person on the planet for every different department. So that means he's hired the best HR person, he's hired the best marketing, best legal, best accountant, best salesperson on the planet and he is now leading them. And what's really, really cool, and I think everyone should actually start with this class, is chapter 16. He talks about leadership and how he built that team, the way you structure. Because when you're dealing with the smartest people on the planet in your team, you then understand how to actually command and how to actually lead. And it's not by leading at all, which is really interesting. But we'll go into that later. We're going to actually go into the masterclass, what it looks like when you get it. So make sure you stay to the end to look at that. This is a brief introduction of all of them. Really cool. But I want to actually take you directly into the masterclass. So, so we'll do that now. So this is what it actually looks like once you have the masterclass. You have the lesson plans, which we already discussed. There are 29 of them. And then on top of that, you have the community, which is also really cool. It talks about what people are actually talking about in the class. I'm not going to actually go into this right now because I think it should be reserved for those that have actually invested and ultimately are helping Chris Hadfield out by getting this masterclass. Again, I got the link in the description. And then the resources, you know, the workbook. The workbook is of a very, very high quality. And I actually want to download it and I want to show it to you really quickly because it's unbelievably compelling. It teaches you so much. And also production quality of this workbook is so high. So check this out. I'm only going to show you the front page, but you can already see it, right? The way it's laid out, the way it's presenting itself, it's no joke, guys. So it's you're getting the best of the best and it goes through each class one by one. So very, very good and very, very long, as you can see here, uh, almost 100 pages. So you're getting value. Office hours is basically you submit a video of yourself asking a question, Chris Hadfield, and he will actually reply. You're getting a lot of value here. Um, and when the guy like this is talking to you and replying to your questions like he's sitting right next to you. You're sitting right next to me as I present this overview of Chris Hadfield's masterclass. Now let's jump straight into it. The first lesson begins with an introduction of Chris Hadfield himself, a retired astronaut, a former commander of the ISS. I've put a lot of weight into what that means. So it's very, very good and it's a great brief. It goes for two, and, two minutes and 40 seconds. The next component also is astronaut training. Really, really cool. He teaches you how to actually be an astronaut. The beginnings of, as soon as you join NASA, what you're called. You're an ASCAD, for example. That's what they call people that are sort of in training. You're already the best in the world and you've been accepted to work at NASA. You're now on the level of a different playing field and that's what they call you, the ASCAN. But it's really cool to know that being an astronaut, you need to be an expert in geology, astrophysics. You need to understand the mechanics of how a spaceship runs. You need to learn a lot. And on top of that, you need to have really, really powerful survival skills. You can apply this knowledge the way these guys think 
to anything that you do in life. So that's what's really cool. The rockets, how actually rockets work and how they're broken up into phases. I won't get into that because I think there's a lot more to that. He spends 20 minutes talking about this. So each class goes for around 20, 30 minutes, which is good. What it feels like to launch. I felt this was probably one of my favorite videos. And he really talks about the human element, that what it's like to approach the spaceship and how no one is around for three to five kilometers because they're not allowed to be that close to the spaceship. And then on top of that, he talks about that moment, how he can see the ship from five kilometers away. And it's a really small speck and what it feels like to actually move towards it and how it's growing and how it's getting bigger and realizing this is my ship. This is going to be my home. Really, really powerful. He talks about atmospheric drag and how that works, the mechanics behind that. So if you're a science guy, absolutely, you're going to love that. Orbital mechanics, you're going to love that. The price of exploration. Wow. This is really good because he talks about the risks on how if a space mission fails, how expensive that is and what is the cost and how do you define the cost of exploring the universe? The next component is uh, the capsule design, how the Apollo was actually designed. Gemini, the lunar lander, really, really cool and how these ships were designed. He, go, he breaks that down quite well. And in 20 minutes, you have a really good understanding. The navigation systems and the human variables towards that as well. Really, really cool. Um, the next component would be navigating the actual space, the International Space Station, how big this thing is. Really, really insane. It's kind of like an elephant. He talks about approaching the space station, navigating the committee, docking with the space station itself and the risks associated to that. Really insane. It's so technical. Love that. There's actually no comments yet. So that's how fresh this class is. The ISS, the concept, how they built it, the construction, how long it took, the laboratories that are inside it, all of these, the costs that was associated to do that. And why not be one of the first to add a comment? Again, guys, not a lot of people know about this class yet. And it's sort of like a hidden gem on the internet. Love it. The life support system how the filters work. Also, how food even works in space. Growing food, oxygen, water. Oh, well, that's a bit interesting, that one with the whole filtration component, but very interesting. Experiments, how do they conduct experiments on the ISS? Commanding the ISS, and as I said, this is probably my favorite one. He talks about how to lead the best of the best, and it's really true. How do you lead the best people on Earth in this case? How do you lead them? The answer is you don't. You let them do their thing. Leadership only comes in when a problem occurs and they need a point of direction. Otherwise, it's very flatline, very interesting, highly recommend this, love this lesson to bits. Training and learning. The importance, and this applies to real world as well, your career is one pager. If you can't explain what you need to explain in less than a page, there's probably something wrong with what you're doing. Because if these guys are explaining complex systems that go into space in one page, I'm sure you can do it for your work as well. He emphasizes how to create the one pages. Very, very cool. I'll actually reply to that later on. And you'll see the comment and you look for that one, one pager. Just keep an eye out. You'll see. I'll actually note that later on. Next, mission control. The comms, how comms actually evolved over time from the analog to the digital world. For example, in the analog world, a consequence of using analog was that beep. Back in the day, they didn't actually like the beep. What they found is that that beep was actually a really good indicator because everyone in mission control could listen. He's listening to everything that everyone says. But whenever they heard that beep, that analog signal, they knew the guys in space were talking. So everyone would become silent. Once they moved to digital, that analog beep moved and therefore they had to recreate it. 20 minutes of just those types of really cool things. Space suits. Wow, one of my favorite things ever. I'm actually going to play a bit of video on this. A really, really interesting one. How spaceships or how EMUs, how these space suits actually work. I didn't know this. There's so much you don't know. Like, for example, they're made out of 14 different layers. There's literally a bubble in one of these layers that protect you. How the oxygen works. How there's a jetpack in case you fly off into space. There's actually a jetpack that will enable you to control yourself and get back to the ISS. And how the golden, there's a visor which protects you from the sun. He's made out of gold. It's crazy. And also on top of that, these suits are hit with such harsh different environments. For example, if you're facing the sun on this suit, it's probably more than 100 degrees. The back of the suit, even though you're facing the sun, is minus 100 degrees. It's insane. Really insane. Really love that one. Spacewalks. Talking about the hazards of spacewalks. If you're going to the moon, how space dust can literally ruin your entire mission and how you can actually build your spacesuits into your spacewalks. How they train, you know, how you see those massive water pools, the simulations, getting mentally prepared for isolation. Love it. Space and perspective, really cool. You need to see this. 
you talk 16 minutes on this, really, really interesting. Training and learning simulations, how they go through multiple different simulations. They travel the world, put themselves in different environments to train for certain scenarios in space. How to get to Mars. If you're a Mars fanatic, you're passionate about Mars, you'll love all these. There's one, two, three, four lessons on Mars themselves, how to get there, living on Mars, utilizing the resources with on Mars, and then exploring it, geology and also the astrobiology of it. Very interesting stuff. And then the conclusion, of course, this is the one that's going to inspire you. And I'm also going to play it at the end as well. Just a tiny bit of it, just to give you a glimpse of what it actually is. The bonus chapter is how he became, how he was a youngling, wanted to be an astronaut, and he focused every little bit of his life towards that dream. The workbook applies to every single one of those lessons, and then the work hours. And I think I want to be submitting a question very soon. I hope you enjoyed this little overview review video of the masterclass. As always, guys, I have a link in the description which will take you directly to the masterclass. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're interested in space, if you're a professional, if you're a student, if you're passionate about space, I think you'll really get a lot of value from this masterclass. So I hope everyone has an amazing day, night, wherever you are in the world. Lewis P. Yeah.